What? 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 <laughs> you have to get a chimney cake if you come to Prague. We saw them everywhere and we didn't get the hype, but we just got it and they are so worth it. I'm almost done with it. Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> 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 they tried to catch oh, the God. banner. It oh. all on her face. Yeah. Wow. We're at the city center. We just saw a guy's wiener. Ask me about my wiener. <laughs> he was peeing and he flicked it like a cigarette. <laughs> I guess he was trying to get all the pee out. It was sick. And go. Tay's gonna say something interesting and funny. Wait, is that the angle? Oh, really? I want to get the big church in the background. Yes. Wait, oh, I can't moonwalk. Tell us about your experience in Praha so far. Praha so far is everything we imagined it would be. Honestly, the people are beautiful, the place is beautiful. We had high expectations, but this succeeded them. Succeeded? Exceeded. It exceeded them. It exceeded them by far. We're staying at an Airbnb, which is so beautiful. I took some video. I'll show you it. And it's actually pretty cheap to stay in an Airbnb, which was surprising. I didn't think it would be as cheap as it was because it's pretty expensive to eat and go around town. So this is the city center and it could not be more beautiful. I am stunned. I think you missed the most important detail. Which is what? That restaurant that we ate at. Oh, yeah. Oh. So we went to, uh, it was a little expensive, the restaurant, but so worth it. We got a couple appetizers. We each got an entree, and then we shared them. And we will be showing you this, but the food was unreal. I mean, when I say amazing, it doesn't even come close. We just don't have anything like that in the U.S., so if you come to Prague, you have to go to Coda. It's a rooftop restaurant, and this, the views from the top are unlike anything you've ever seen. So come to Praha. If you didn't know, Prague is actually pronounced Praha. So come and go to Coda. It is absolutely We are in Old Town Square, and you see pictures of it, but you really can't imagine until you get here, the vastness, it's actually huge. Every building is so unique. Uh, I read that there's a mix between goth and a couple other, maybe mid-century modern, totally making that up, but it's insane to see the difference. Oh yeah, at a, a certain time of day, the clock tower goes off and there's something that they do. So I'll get back to you on that. What's that one? That's the clock tower. Okay, clock tower. Am I touching it? Yeah, you are. What else? Um, I don't know what that is, but we're gonna find out. We're gonna let you know, because it is absolutely incredible here. Wow, so, look at that. Stay tuned. At Crane. We've got some more restaurants to show you. Where are we going next? We are going to Ooglak Lalaglak Lola. It's traditional uh, Raha food. Oh, but we are going to Charles Bridge. So they said to go early because it gets packed, which now we see why, and it is absolutely packed. So we'll probably regret that decision, but we'll get to see it. So it's worth it. on Charles Bridge. Oh, it is so crowded. But beautiful. Just beautiful. I went early this morning. It was fantastic. At about 7 a.m., there wasn't hardly a soul on the bridge. Um, but I was just out for a little jog and actually found this place. So, pretty cool. All right, we'll check in with you in a little bit. Hey, you're on. Dressed in layers. Uh, it looked like it was gonna be really windy today because yesterday was really windy. I dressed pretty warm yesterday and was still cold. Dressed about the same today and I'm dying of heat. So layers and even if you read the weather report, it might not be accurate. So you might accurate, might not be accurate, <laughs> might not be accurate. So go outside and then go change. If you love sparkling water, Europe is heaven to you. And if you need it in 
uh, Prague, Praha, and Perliva. So we didn't know what was still and what was sparkling when we went to go buy it. Yeah. And we now know it's Perliva. So, Perliva. So where's that? Fantastic! Wow! It's crazy, huh? Wow! Something to remember if you're coming to Prague is that you need to learn a few uh, words in Czech because no one speaks English, which it's totally fine. We shouldn't go to a country and expect them to know English, but all the other countries we have been to, it's pretty surprising because they usually know a lot of English, but here, no one has known any so far. So, fun fact and do your homework. Do your homework. Tell me about your experience with the castle. Okay, I didn't know what to expect. This was, I, I'm in awe. I'm trying to understand and take in everything that I saw. That's <laughs> funny. Yeah, no, you have to go. The detail is unreal. It's look it up before you go. They explain it because I can't remember anything. So, but it was really 1396. Yeah, 1396. So but I do remember old. it was super interesting. So look it up and then go. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Rubbing the garlic. Oh yeah. Rubbing the garlic. Look, this is the tartar. Tar oh, that garlic smells so good. Oh my god. Mm. Okay, let's take a bite of this and see how it is. How is that bite? Oh my god. Tell me about yourself. Okay, this is incredible. I cannot believe the architecture. The people are so nice. The food so far has been unreal. Unreal. 